Expectations, Mark Twain Middle School. This is Twain TV. I'm Olivia. And I'm Annalise. Today is Monday, January 12th, 2015. Now put down that pencil and open your ears. Here's the latest news. Hopefully everyone is awake today. This is going to be our first full day of school in like a week. Anyway, the end of the second quarter is coming soon, so everyone needs to wake up and get your assignments turned in on time. But first, hear this. The Hay vs. Jones game is coming up fast, and the teams have now been selected. Here's this year's exciting lineup. The time has come to announce the 2015 Hay vs. Jones basketball teams. Starting with Team Hay, Mr. Hay, Mr. Chivone, Mr. Pettigrew. Mr. Orenstein, Mrs. Arthur Compton, Mr. Murphy, Miss Marinon, Micaias Negus, Carol Miller, Lucas Tran, Ezra Jellowi Dewos, Keyshawn Smith, and Nathan Hester. Now it's time for Team Jones. Mr. Jones. Mr. Schechter, Mr. Orenstein, Mr. Harsh, Mr. Amato, Mrs. Archer, Mr. Henderson, Andre Screen, Eric Gordon, Freddy DaCosta, Alex Fleetes, Tareen Carzia, and Jared Clausen. Thanks to all the students who tried out. Don't forget the game is Thursday after school. And there you have it, folks. These two teams will square off this Thursday to decide which male PE teacher is the champion. Here's Mr. Amato with more about this face-off. Good morning, Twain. This is Mr. Amato and Mr. Keston coming to you live. Woo! And in color from Twain TV. Yeah, we're here to talk to you about Hay vs. Jones 3. Coming up this Thursday, tickets Wars. are $5 at lunches. Hey, Mr. Motto, if I buy my ticket and I'm one of the first 100 people, what do I get for free? Well, if you're still one of the first 100 people that buys a ticket, you get free candy. Ooh, yummy, like Reese's Cups or Twix bars? Or Sour Patch or Skittles. <laughs> All kinds of yummy stuff. What else, Mr. Motto? Hey, if I bought a ticket today and lunch, do I win something tomorrow? Well, actually, the earlier you buy your ticket, the more eligible you are to win all of these lovely raffle prizes Ooh, we have. Like this blanket. Or let's talk about tomorrow's raffle prizes. Ooh, like this blanket. Or Lito's Pizza Cards for free pizza. That's yummy. Or Sweet Frog. Five bucks to get all the Sweet Frog you want. Ooh, they make frog ice cream, Mr. Romano? <laughs> On Wednesday, we'll be doing headphones, basketballs, and soccer balls. Wow, that's pretty cool. What about what else, though? Are we having like a uh, some bigger prizes? Let's do Thursday's prizes. Ooh, Thursday, we're giving away not one, not two, not three, but four iTunes twenty-five dollar gift cards. That's a hundred bucks, folks. Woo! Well, you have been wondering what the grand prize is, I'm sure. Roger, are you wondering? Yes, I am, Mr. K. He's wondering. What about Cupcake? You're wondering too, ain't you, Cupcake? <laughs> Go ahead, Mr. Mott. The Mata. time has come to announce it. We're bringing it back, folks. <laughs> That's right. Beats Headphones, mm -hmm. grand prize. Mm -hmm. $5 gets you into the game, free candy, and a chance to win these $200 headphones. Break it down now. Break it, break it, break it, break it, break it down now. See you there. Hey, Cupcake, you gonna be there for the game on Thursday? No. Then you get F5. Woo! <laughs> Thanks for the scoop, Mr. Amato. Anyway, last Friday there was a theater sports competition on Friday at Herndon Middle School. Congratulations to Jillian Brooks, Patrick Brown, Bella Curtis, Ben Kaner, Josh Mutterpearl, Caitlin Oliver, Sophia Pelicasis, Victor Rodriguez and K Carrie Ronane for receiving the Best Use of Physical Space Award at the competition and scoring second place overall. Would you like the chance to compete? The next improv competition will be February 12th right here at Twain. Let Ms. Leibowitz know that you want to be on the team representing Twain before the end of school on Wednesday. Are you planning to audition for the spring production of Alice in Wonderland? If you haven't picked up an audition packet, what are you waiting for? In order to do so, you need to have a completed packet by your audition time, and you need to fill out an online profile. 
so there's lots to do. Auditions are sooner than you think, so make sure you get an audition packet from the drama room this week, which is probably where you'll find Miss Leibowitz, if you have any questions. Speaking of ordering things, get your yearbook this week. Head to yearbookordercenter.com, all one word, and get yours for only $30. Enter the code 8606 or search Mark Twain Middle School and you'll find it. Starting next week, the price goes up $5, so save money now. How would you like to win a computer? Buy a raffle ticket at lunch this week for a chance to win an $1,800 computer and help raise money for our school. Tickets cost $3 and will be sold at lunch all week. Speaking of computers, did you know most electronics should be properly disposed of? This means they shouldn't just go to the trash. So if you have any rechargeable, rechargeable batteries, extension cords, cell phones, laptops, holiday lights, even game controllers that you need to get rid of, then bring them into Twain. Basically, anything with a cord is okay. At lunch this week, there will be collection bins on the stage to drop off your items. You can even bring TVs that are, that are 35 inches or less. Whoa. Now it's time for today's birthdays. Happy birthday to Gracie. We hope you have a great birthday. Now it's time for today's lunch menu. Baked chicken tenders with brown rice, buffalo chicken with brown rice. Choice of two vegetables, baked glazed carrots, fresh broccoli with zucchini, choice of one fruit, applesauce or grapefruit wedges. Am I right, ladies? That's all we have for you today from the studio right here at Twain TV. I'm Olivia. And I'm Annalise. Make sure you stay tuned for the Administrator's Corner after these messages. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Twain TV. And check out YouTube.com slash Twain MS News to watch other fantastic news crew productions. Have a triumphant Tuesday, Twain! Good morning, Mark Twain Middle School. Here's today's daily joke. The past, present, and future walk into a bar. It was tense. <laughs> Have an awesome day, Twain. Day. Staff, all buses were here and all buses were on time. In fact, all the buses were unloaded by 7.50 this morning, which is excellent for our transportation. Students who were not here or did not get an opportunity to fill out ELT forms yesterday during their science classes will have an opportunity today during lunch. So students, if you did not get the chance to fill out your ELT forms for the second semester, during lunch you'll be called up and you will be able to select the courses that you are looking forward to signing up for for ELT for second semester. Also students, January 29th, which is about two weeks away, is the last day of the quarter. If you have not already started thinking about getting the best grades possible, now is the time. You need to be signing up for after school programs and staying after with teachers for teacher help or turning in all your homework that has been passed due to get the best grades possible. So this week and next week, please remember to sign up for after school. I want to reiterate, there is an electronic device recycling program going on during lunches on the stage. They mention it during the news, but if it has a cord, bring it in. That goes for students and staff alike. That's all we have here for Twain. Be on your best behavior today and have a terrific Tuesday.